Hello everyone and welcome back to Views from the Yale. So it's not too long now until the season starts. We've got about six weeks to go and it's about four weeks until our US tour begins as well. And Parkinson has been mentioning in the local press about his attempts to get new players in and he's been talking about, you know, there's not a lot of not a lot of major changes that need to be done, but obviously he mentioned he's going to work hard to get the players and go all out to get those players he wants to get. I mean, I'm thinking it's going to be about three or four players. I don't, don't think he's going to really look at five or six players really, or even or even more more than that really. We've got a very, very strong squad already. I mean, we're one of the few sides who haven't made any changes to the side as of yet. I mean, we've got, you know, Gillingham and Bradford and Doncaster have made a few signings and... You know, apparently we were in for Johnny Williams, who obviously has now gone to Gillingham, and then there was talk, an interesting Patrick Bro from from Barrow, and who's who signed for Northampton. So there's a couple of players there that potentially were that we were interested in who've gone elsewhere. Obviously, we're not going to know intent of the interest with those players. Obviously, there's been talk about Alfie May as well, and we're not quite sure what's going to happen with that player. I mean, to be honest, in terms of strikers, I don't think we really need to worry about that. It's probably him in defence midfield that we need reinforcements though it seems like he's looking at like a left back or left wing back or you know strength on left side midfield left side defence really maybe he needs someone to challenge Mendy he doesn't think McFadden is it's going to be good enough for League 2 I, I thought to be good enough but we did seem to have that weakness in defence with set pieces and in midfield there were games where he didn't seem to be controlling the game very effectively so I can understand why he's going to look to get trying to um, try and prove that ready for league two or even just strengthen our overall depth because and maybe if you do lose one or two players things start to get a bit more slack and I, I do wonder whether he would decide to move on someone like likely Luke Young and see if he can get better options would he move Clearworth out alone to get him first in football because I don't think Clearworth is going to get ahead of Hayden, Tozer, O'Connell, Clearworth. It's probably going to be difficult for him to get ahead of those players. Probably would be best if he went out alone somewhere to get that first team football. Obviously it's going to be, it's going to be tough signing players because the clubs are going to know we've got plenty of money. But I assume that Parkinson, Sean Harvey, they're going to be sensible with things and not not going to be any record transfers. I don't think. Well, I don't think there'll be any record transfers. That would be. That would be a bit of a surprise to break the break it again. You know, only 18 months after after Palmer joined us, that would be quite a surprise. I mean, I think. I think obviously Wrexham are in a good, strong position already for be challenging for promotion. Are we the favourites already? Well, I know the bookies say that, but it is a bit a bit bandwagoning to say we're favourites for promotion when we. We haven't even done anything as of yet in League Two, and just because we've got money doesn't mean we're going to automatically be up there. You know, the likes of Mull and probably does help things a bit to make us looking like favourites. But hopefully, there'll be a bit more news come out in the next few days because obviously we've got the on Thursday we're going to be getting we're going to get the new new fixtures for the league and obviously the, the respective cups. So that should be fun. And fingers crossed, it'd be nice to kick off with a home game. Maybe just or, or perhaps get a, get rid of one of the like the long journeys, get that out of the way early in the season, so it's all it's all done. But yeah, if you've made it this far, thanks for listening. Please subscribe. Um, we'll chat to you soon. Thanks. Goodbye.